that come back. Um, the first thing we will do is watch this between Yana and Chloe. Were they in one unit? Hmm, this is quite a quandary. What's wrong, Yana? Well, I bought some new clothes over in town, but it turns out they're much too small for me to fit into. And I tried offering them to some other soldiers of ours, yet, yet nobody seemed especially interested. So here I am, stuck with an outfit I can't wear and no one to give it to. In that case, do you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. You can even try it on if you'd like. What is it? Is it a bath suit? <laughs> hmm, if I wore something Yana picked out for herself. Maybe I can be just as charming and ma mature as she is. Oh, I don't believe so. Here you are, Chloe. Oh, this is a fair bit less fabric than I was expecting. I'm not sure if size really can be an issue when there's barely any clothes here to begin with. You would think not, but it was still rather tight around my waist. Though a slender girl like you should have no problem with that, go and try it. If you say so. Oh, let me see. Don't do this, Chloe. There are some things worlds, the world's not meant to see. Legs? Were you watching? Eavesdropping? What's that supposed to mean? Please, Chloe, you have plenty of charm as it, as it is without resorting to such revealing attire. You too, Scarlet? What's going on with you? So... Does Lex fancy her? Maybe. I'm actually not sure where I have to go. We could go south. Or we could go east. Hmm. I think... South is a good idea. Let me see. Oh, I can make deliveries. I'm not sure what we've done to deserve this kindness, but as the mayor of the town, all I can do is thank you. I only hope our lives will be a little easier now. I hope so too. We'll leave a guard for you. Oh, I can make all the deliveries. Mm. But uh, for now, let's leave Rolf here. Maybe we can also make deliveries for the other towns. We can. Nice. Yay! You folks aren't from around here, are you? It's hard to believe you're doing all this for a bunch of strangers. No worries. Since you're on our side now, you're no strangers. And we we'll leave him here. What about this town? Actually, this was a major battle we did, right? So maybe there's some collectibles around again. We should take a look. Oh, yes! All the towns are ours now. Thanks for getting things sorted out here. Maybe now we can actually do our jobs. Yep, and we will leave someone... Uh, we will leave Travis here. Just for you. If you're worried, don't be. I've got a better eye for mischief the most. I'll give you a gift, which is... Appreciates finer... Uh, finery? No. Enjoys tea. Does he enjoy tea? Who enjoys reading? This is perfect. 120. You know me well, Elaine. I can't wait to read this. Don't worry. Was it your favorite? Hehehe. <laughs> oh, reports available. Where? Where are we going to chat? Is it here? No. Where is it? I can't seem to find it. Can I... Where can I look for it? Oh, I can talk to Hodrick and Travis. Oh, it's here, okay.
Let's watch this. This is a surprise to find you buried in a nice book, Travis. Oh yeah? Reading is actually one of my favorite hobbies. I have you know, though, it's a little harder to keep up with nowadays. We used to have a huge library back home, filled uh, floor to ceiling with any book you could ever want. So it's all gone now, thanks to Zenoria. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. You've lost everything in this war too. And we're not the only ones. Just about the whole continent's been through the same ordeal. That's why it's so important we take back what's ours and get rid of Zenoria once and for all. Right you are. By the way, what is it that you're reading there? Caught your eye, didn't it? Uh, did it. Uh, this only natural books have become quite a precious commodity given the uh, death of scribes operating in our land. I would love to read it myself once you're finished. Huh, I didn't realize you even knew how. <laughs> this entirely thanks to Joseph's mentorship, of course. I should at least remember well enough to manage. Then here, I let you have it now. I practically know this one by heart anyway. Just let me know if there's anything you're having trouble with understanding. My thanks, Travis. Anytime. I'll be looking forward to hearing what you think of it. Aww. He's so nice. I like him. And... Uh... Patrick? Oh. Wrong... Button? Hello, Hodrick. It is a fine evening, your highness. It is indeed. A kind of peaceful atmosphere which calls to mind memories of my childhood. Do you remember the day you lifted me up on your shoulders to let me, above, uh, let me see above the castle balcony? I had not soon forget it. I can almost picture it now, gazing out at the endless lights which lay tranquil in the city below. As can I. Of course I was still but a young man. Wait, haven't we watched this? I think we watched this. Oh, I... I was like, is it just deja vu or <laughs> did I really watch this? But we did. The city has not been registered. Oh, so we can't watch it. Mm. Too bad. But we can watch these. No, we can't. What about this? Yes. Uh, where is it? Here somewhere. Yep. Such abundant wounds. Hasn't Sir Hodrick taught you better than this? Always remain calm and always be cautious. Those are the first rules of any combat. Well, yeah, but ow. I just can't help myself when I see people in danger. But hey, at least I'm the only one who got hurt. Would have been totally fine too if those other guys hadn't been hiding in the bushes waiting to get a jump on me. Bushes. All for those you've never even met. I think I see now why Alain trusts you so implicitly. implicitly. You're like a sturdy shield, parrying away any blades and arrows that come in our direction. Isn't that more Hodrick's job? <laughs> One who gives us the strength to fight on, despite our lesser numbers. Who, me? I do like the sound of that. At times I find it such a magnif uh, magnificent sight that I simply can't avert my gaze. Ooh. Wear that heavy armor, yet move with such swiftness. All to send in def uh, defense of those who need it most. But remember, you'll just make us worry if you try and do everything yourself. Your special legs, both to our army and to me. Aww, cute. Where have you been, Lex? His Majesty's. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were still getting treatment. We just finished, actually. But you need to take it easy for a while to give his wounds a chance to heal. You might recover quicker than most Lex, but pain will still strike if you aren't careful. Now go, I'll be praying for your continued safety in the meantime. Thanks for everything, Sharon. And come on, Lex, we can't keep his majesty waiting. Any day now? I, uh, yeah, sorry, coming. Are you blushing? <laughs> I would be. Phew. Any normal girl would fall head over heels hearing stuff like that. Good thing I'm not a normal guy. I'm sure she was just being friendly. Are you sure? What are you muttering about over there? Cute. Very cute. Are there any more we can watch? Yana? Let's see. And I understand you once served as court sources for Cronius' royal family, Yana. 
I did, yes, long before you were born. What were your duties in such a role? Mostly mundane things like erecting magic barriers, uh, brewing creative potions and training the younger witches and wizards of the castle. At times I offered counsel to the king's knights as well. Though that often only consisted of hearing their worries, then crafting a simple incana incantation to ease their troubled minds. And what manner of problems were they concerned about? The most common was a fundamental reluctant reluctance to even raise their weapon to another human being. Konya and Dragonhold were still locked in frequent border disputes back then, so the fear of battle was ever present in people's thoughts. But weave a quick spell and all their hesitation would melt away. Which would in turn prevent those anxieties from becoming um, a liability in a critical moment. It was, u it was useful technique to be sure. Though you utilize it too often, you risk ridding its recipient of every other emotion as well. There's no denying the strength of a knight without fear, but the sad truth is that such a knight may lose his heart in the process. And given the effect of Zenora's magic has already had on our pupil, we need to be more careful than ever about using this approach. Seems you put a great care into our duties assisting the royal knights, Yana. Great enough that I've no doubts about allowing you to cast such a spell on me. Oh, then come to me the next time your fears get the better of you. I wish you to make the effect especially mild to leave your heart as unscathed as, as possible. Isn't that like a bad thing to do? <laughs> like in the aftermath? Hmm, you will remember that you killed someone. Yes, we can take the town. Our village is full of warmth and life again, and all thanks to the Liberation Army. I truly can't thank you enough. No worries, I get me now out of it. It's your Shut turn, Leonardo. Alright, um, are there any more towns? Oh, all the ones here. Can we... Can we take... wrong oh yes yay thank you kindly your highness with silver living of water and old bread if you hadn't come along and helped us out no problem we have a thousand we now now Next step will be uh, let's click press the buttons too fast. Okay, I don't have enough corsite stone. Same here. Wait, is there a city we haven't taken yet? Oh, <laughs> we have to be level 38 for that. Right. Oh, there's something glittering. Okay, we can't get there. But we can collect these things here. And then we can continue. Um, what's this? Black market. Ooh. Should I go there first? I think so. So we are not going south but east. Alright, hello. Whoops. <laughs> I was about to say. I don't want to die. Walled city. It appears to be under the Norian control as well. How did you manage to pass through here on your way to the checkpoint? They hardly have any guard stations in the area, so it was a simple enough matter for a small force such as ours. But I'm sure they'll notice an entire army shaking the gates. Ah, oh, walled city of Adopti.
Who are you? Jeremy. So how would you just go? Yeah, come to our side. You're willing to die for that? <laughs> He's an arrogant prick. Oh, seems they've already noticed us, in fact. <laughs> You're an army, of course. Uh, the city's ruled by a famed mercenary who rose to prominence during the fight between Drakenhold and Zenoria. Make sure you're ready before you march in there unprepared. Sure. We just have to be... Ooh, level 15. I don't think... Are we ready for that? I don't believe so. I believe we have to go south first to level uh, up a little bit. I do want to be the correct level. I think it's quite difficult to to win if, if we're not right. Is this a sigil again? What wonderful fortune! We've come across a new sigil. Now then, allow me to activate its power. Beginner two. Level ten. Perfect. Why the knights and hunter? We can deal with that. Perfect for training. Enemy command post. Ouch! Someone hit us! What are you doing? Gravity field? Oh, we're slow now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we do actually have to heal. Him. Wait, can you 
go here. The weapon you see is called a ballista by Prince. As long as it hold, uh, holds bolts, you can use it to continually attack the enemy target. This is a potent armament, armament indeed, if used to its full potential. Ballista are siege weapons that can be operated by any unit. Station a unit and then select the target to attack automatically. Oh, yes. Wait, do I actually want to use that? almost dead. Oh, why are we healing? Fuck. Now you die. Time to move. Yes. Wait, why are you not moving? Come on. Attack. Everyone attack. Okay, Elaine, it's your turn. Perfect. Scarlet is finally on a level that's quite good. We got some some level up items. Oh, Phantom Night Shield. Cool. Fascinating. We've earned a reward for our first success in the Civis trial. Well, given everything we know about them, I should hardly be surprised at this point. In any case, there are still more soldiers elsewhere in Fever. Let's be off. Let me see. Gain a 300 EXP. Gain a thousand. And this novice thing. Who's the lowest level right now? Nina? Da 
I want to have all of them level 10, at least. Restore minor HP to a row of allies. Removes all targets deeper. Mm -hmm. 300. Perfect. What does this actually do? Negates all non combat damage taken in stage for 10 seconds. Whoa. Just a whole lot of idealized cell. Okay, we got a shield. One phantom knight shield, guard efficiency, and magic magic defense. Wow, maybe her royal guard. Hmm. No, nah. for now, for now, we leave it. What else is there? A new battle. Oh, we're in the desert. I knew it. We'll do it, of course. Let's go. Free these lands. Oh, I couldn't even react. Let's run away. Wah. Like I said, these are my old stomping grounds. How about I give you the grand tour? Sure. Show us around. Beyond the swirling sands. Uh, level 11. Let's do it. No! <laughs> They're all coughing at once. Okay, we need wyvern knights. Uh, they have wyvern knights, witches, and gladiators. Uh, I think we can manage. So I think the lady had a problem, maybe. Oh, 
Let's go. Wherever this Magellan is. But we'll see soon enough. Listen up, Buzz. We've got two roads here you can take to the Bandit's Keep. The way up north, full of sorcerers, magic types turned over to the thieving life. Father Mood, on the other hand, has got some of the toughest outlaws you ever seen. From what I hear, the two sides have been going at it ever since Magellan flipped. Then there's the ruins up north, apparently claimed by a night gone rogue. Rumor is that they've been causing the towns all sorts of problems. So we go north first. Oh, thanks. These sand will slow us down good, but use one of these and it will be like you're back on solid ground. Just so you know, my friends, flying units like mine won't be affected by the desert either. Do uh, with that what you will. Thank you both. I suppose all that remains now is to deploy. Alright. The north. We click we first. We should be sending archers against that wyvern, yeah? You two would expect as much, but the shields their fighters bear will render the tactic frankly powerless. Okay, they're not. In that case, why not send uh, send in the sorcerer instead? Wyvern knights are equally as vulnerable to magic as they are to arrows. Oh, I had no idea. Let's give it a shot, Elaine. Let's give it a shot. So, why the griffin, uh, griffin knights are vulnerable to magic attacks, so I guess we'll have to go south then. So we go, we go, we go, we go with the lane. And... Maybe it's actually time to make a, a full-on magic unit. But I, I want my griffin knights out, and I think I'll take Oculus. But just to say, I want to change this formation up then. With magicians, I think. Instead of Lionel. Because she has high evasion, she could is enough I think to counter so be gone and who to put there oh a cleric and Baron Jeria oh that's actually a nice idea to have a cleric um what else Okay, that's it for now, so we'll take her and we want to change up this formation and have a magic wield uh Well I don't know what are sword fighters good. I'm not sure. But so we're not going to take out re uh, the thieves this time. No, I think no. Maybe maybe I should. 
because they are good at evading, but my units are also not bad. Who can I take? I take you. Okay. So we take you out. But they are coming already. So I guess I go there with... Wait, we are going to wait outside the ring. And with you we are going up. As well. But we're going to no. like this. <clears throat> okay, back for more, you damn barbarians. Don't know when to quit. Oh, you're fighting amongst all yourself. Perfect. This desert is ours, and we're never handing it over. And here I thought, Baron Sand Hammer Bearer. I thought you magic types were supposed to be smart. The only people we listen to are the ones who've got the strength to win. Time to find out if that's you or not. Ouch for them. Oh, I will be taking this watchtower. Wait, what's going on? Damn, I can't see my own feet through all the sand. Those bandits will be on us in no time flat. Get to the watchtower. Visibility will be better if you get to a height. I'm doing that. You heard the man. Let's get moving. stealing from us hey i never seen you out in the dunes before think of it as a little toll for crossing anyway thanks for doing business come back here thief try sending a flying unit after him your highness we can move through the sand just as easy as anywhere else well i think it's time to actually use the feathers Let that, uh, that's cleared up. No relaxing just yet. You never know when the next one's gonna roll in. Try and remember where the enemies are. Uh, enemies are at now before it's too late. Actually, we're just going. Perfect. And now we're here at the camp. And we're going to deploy new units. Who will be 
light as a feather. Steering one after another. Well, I can't get all of them. Wait, please, I surrender. Nice. Oh, yeah? Could have sworn you put up more of a fight than that. Would if you weren't here. Listen, Alban, something wrong with Mal Magellan. Not sure what it is, but if anyone can put a stop to it, it's you. I ask our friends up north to lend a hand myself. As for the bandits uh, down south, well, that's on you. So, what do you say? We have a deal? If it means not having blades at each other's throats, I'm all for it. Come on, Elaine. But of course, but. What you have us do, Fair Rider? Only one thing, keep me safe while I'm flying over there. Can't exactly have my chat if, I burn, uh, if I'm burned to a crisp. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Give me back my money! <laughs> But we can heal up. And we can also summon. We've got fresh marks coming our way, boss. Don't know if they're brave or stupid to come stomping into our next uh, neck of dunes. Not that it matters. Time we show them what mistake they're making. Yeah, please wait for a moment. Alright. Stealing our gold, are you? Well, I guess nobody's got it easy these days. Let's just uh, call it a little thank you for sparing my life. Oh, we weren't supposed to do that? <laughs> uh, sorry? Ouch. 
Actually, ooh, yes, you're back. I want the mercenaries to take care of them first. Why ones are coming? What the? Don't. Hey boss, we have company. More moths to the flame, huh? Fine then, let's show them what we do with interlopers. Uh, please don't. Actually, for defense, let me just get him out. Another victory claim for the liberation. Come, we march onward. Not so fast, Paul. We are playing on Austin Magellan. Then I wanna come with. There's that code, you know. Says you all always gotta throw in with the winner. In that case, we would be honored to have you. It was fast. <laughs> you are also coming. Just to heal up. <laughs> Hold on, Tamala, I have a proposition for you. Sporting Magellan, are we? I couldn't have come with up uh, come up with a finer plan myself. Very well. Do with my army what you will. Perfect. My man's practically got the whole damn kingdom after him. No point sticking around here though. Come on, Magellan's waiting for us. Wait. Find anything good in there? Take whatever you want, as long as it helps. Oh, you're so nice! Perfect. Let's 
That's bad. What's that up there? Some runes. Whoa, he will destroy us. Come on. Let's go. Okay, he can heal up, so I don't want to do that. I want to take that as well. Wait, you're already here. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop guys. Okay, you're dead. Finally. Oh, only, only the cleric was left. Oh no. Poor girl. Maybe I should have waited and taken over the other... ...the wounds. Oh, that's alright. Nice, level up. Pursuance... Pursuance bracelet, alright.
in your face. Alright, let's save him. ロスター。そいつが連れてた変な爺に魔法をかけられて。ふふ。あれんだけ。旦那やさんやった。俺のことを思い出せたな。ああ。お前を取ったと金返せよ。今すぐ帰れ。<笑><笑> What about the other guys? <laughs> like I, I want I want the magician and the wyvern knight more actually. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's where I'll stop the episode for now. And then we'll see what happens in the next one. Bye bye!